Welcome to this video where I'm going to show how to create an ebook using Juto. In this first video, I will be um, producing a standard Kindle format Mobi file, um, such as you would see on the vast majority of ebooks on your Kindle. Um, in a later video, I'll show you how to prettify it a bit to use the features of the latest Kindle format. But for now, we're just going to compile a basic ebook. Now, you might be asking yourself, why bother, um, given that we're not going to be doing any special formatting? Why not just export it from Word or why not use the um, Draft a Digital ebook compiler or the Readsy ebook compiler? Well, to start with Word, um, the problem with uploading a Word document to um, Amazon to convert is that it will leave a lot of junk in there. And also the formatting that you may well not particularly want your user to see, such as the blue word headers, may well get preserved. You'll also end up with a file that is bigger than it needs to be because of all this junk. Um, in the case of using Draft Digital, that's you know it's it's perfectly fine process. You'll get a, a good quality ebook out of it. But in my tests, I found that really even with just a basic Word document, the resulting Mobi was approximately twice as big. Um, in terms of file size when put through Drafter Digital's converter than it was using Juto. And as you'll see, this process is so fast, it's actually quicker to use Juto than it is to um, upload it to Drafter Digital. Um, the other option, of course, is to use something like Scrivener for producing basic EPUBs and Mobis, but um, I gave up on that. I just find it the least intuitive way of creating ebooks that I can imagine. So we'll just um, go through the process now. I'm using a source document that is um, A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens, which is my favourite novella. Now this was a standard um, text file that I downloaded from Gutenberg in the public domain. All I've done is to apply the Heading 1 style to all of the chapter names, as you can see it up here, and then Normal style for everything else. Um, if I had highlight, um, bolded or um, italicised anything here, then that would be preserved. But otherwise, this is plain formatting exactly as it would be if you were just writing a manuscript. So it's a simple Word file. The reason that you um, mark it with heading one is that that helps Juto and any other ebook compiler work out where the chapters start. This, the actual visual appearance of this heading will be discarded in the compiling process because as I said we want the user in most cases to be able to pick their own um, heading font and their own body font. Okay so that's the file so let's get going. If we just go to new and give it its title Okay, I don't remember what the date is, so I'll, I'll do that later. Okay, there's, now then, these are all the formats. Uh, there's no reason why you shouldn't leave them all selected, except that, you know, I prefer just to delete them, just to restrict the range of choices I've got later. These are the three formats that I'm interested in. So click Next. We want a normal reflowable book for all novels. You can leave all these the same. What will happen is that um, the standard way in which Kindle books are formatted is that you have a non-indented paragraph as the first paragraph in any chapter and then subsequent paragraphs have their first line indented slightly. So that's all of that's confirming. Um, and here we want to select from an existing file containing all sections. There's the document. And click Next. And you can see that it, it's offering us to split by style. Um, and you can see it's suggesting where it's going to split it, and that is correct. Those are the five chapters. 
Now then, the, it's important now that this is the only part that you need to pay attention to get this how we want it. We need to leave this selected. We want any unused styles to be removed to reduce the size. Size, but we want to deselect imported styles, override default Juto styles. We want the default styles and to discard those imported styles and apply Juto styles. And also, for neatness, we're going to discard any empty paragraphs. What this will do is, as I said, allow the end user to choose their own font. So, click next. Um, obviously, normally you would use your use an existing file and choose your cover but I'm just going to use this built-in one and finish and that was pretty much it as you can see in a similar way to Scrivener we've now got each of the chapters in their own um, document in order to create a Moby we just go down to build pick, pick Moby pocket select compile that's done and click launch and if you've followed the install installation of Juto you'll have the Kindle Previewer. Click on that. I just have to resize this so you can see it. And there's the document. I like prefer to look at these in the oh this is not going to resize in the ebook e-ink devices because they're the ones I'm most familiar with. So there we have a standard Kindle book. You can see we've got the heading up the top there. I could change to one of the other fonts and it will it will do its thing. Uh, you'll notice that it's applied the standard formatting of no indent on the first paragraph and indents on the later. We can also see it's put the table of contents in there. And we can even look at the, check that there's an NCX table for uploading. And that is now a fully working, fully formatted um, Mobi file ready for uploading to Kindle. If you wanted an EPUB, you would just select EPUB from here and follow the same process. So that's it. The actual process takes, when I'm not blabbing on, probably around about one minute from beginning to end to get your Mobi file. Which is why, and it's a clean Mobi file. You can see it's 163, 147 for the standard Mobi. Um, as I said, the draft of digital one was twice that size, um, and it's stripped out all the all the rubbish. And that's a perfectly good Mobi file to upload to Amazon that you can guarantee will be accepted.